In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways for how to download and import to use additional materials inside Substance Painter. So this way you have way more that you can get access to and begin using to texture your assets with. So let's begin. First, let's cover the basics. There are two types of materials you will download. Basic materials or smart materials. Basic materials are found right here underneath your asset and it's this icon right here. And the extension for this file type will be SBSAR. Smart materials will be found right next to it, right here. And the file extension for these is SPSM. So depending on which file type you download, which type of material, will define which folder that you will place these files into to make them appear inside the library section. Unless you use the last option, I will show you which will send these files over to the specific folder automatically. So there are two ways you can download basic materials or smart materials to use. One is to use Creative Cloud Marketplace or a direct download of a specific file from somewhere else. From another website, somebody gave them to you and you have the actual files downloaded or in your possession already. And you just need to place them somewhere so they work inside Substance Painter. And we're going to cover how to use the marketplace because if you know how to do that and all the options I show you, then you can download basic or smart materials somewhere else and just follow the steps. There are two ways to get access to the marketplace. The first one is right inside Substance Painter and just clicking on this icon right here will take you right into the marketplace for Substance 3D assets. So go ahead and click this to open it up. And here you'll be able to browse, search, and look through the materials to download. We'll go more deeper into this in just a bit. The other way is just to open up Creative Cloud Desktop. The app itself, usually you'll be right here looking at all your apps and you would just go to Stock and Marketplace and then click over to 3D tab and it will take you to the same area. So to find a material that you would want to use, a new one that you want to download and bring it over into Substance Painter, go to Creative Cloud Desktop and search for what you want to use for to download. So use one of these two ways and just navigate into that marketplace area so you can download. I usually do it right through Substance Painter by clicking on the marketplace to browse and search for whatever material you would want to download to use. So I'm going to search for tile and just scroll through, find the material you'd want to download. Once you find what you want, let's say I'm going to stick with this one, Dirty City Marble Tiles. You can left click on it to see what the material looks like different presets that may come with it. And here you can go ahead and download it. If you don't want to go through that menu, you can just use one of these icons below. You can do more info, you can send to the app, or you can download it right from here. So you have two options to get this material. You can either send it to an app, which will automatically download it and place it into a specific folder and it will appear right away inside Substance Painter for you to use. This places the material into a folder and it will keep it there. So if you shut down Substance Painter and then reopen it back up, that material will always be available to you to use. Or you can download it manually. And this is the option I prefer. I prefer to download the file manually. So that way I can back it up and then I manually place it into a folder myself. Or there will be another option I'll show you. You can import it to use just during your current session that you have Substance Painter open. So manually downloading gives you a bit more options to import the material to use in a couple of more different ways. Also, before I download it, take a look at the file type you're downloading. This will tell you if it's a material or a smart material. And in our case, most of these materials in the marketplace are SBSAR, which are regular materials, not smart materials. So let's go ahead and download it. And here we are. Now, also as a side note, you will be given a certain amount of downloads available to you every month and they get added up over so many months if you don't use them. So many of these are freely downloadable without you having to pay, especially if you just keep stacking these numbers every month. Or you can click over to free assets and this will give you access to free painter assets to download without having this number go down. All right, so now that you have a material downloaded, let me show you how to place it inside Samsung Painter and make it available to you to use. The first way to use your file that you have downloaded is to manually place into a specific folder on your hard drive where Substance Painter will automatically 
display this file, this material or smart material inside the library section every time you launch Substance Painter. This is if you want this material to always be available on Substance Painter launch. The path to this folder will be found right here. C drive, users, username, documents, Adobe, Adobe Substance Painter, 3D, and assets. And if you navigate into here, into this folder, you will see a bunch of subfolders. This is where you place downloaded content. And the two folders we're concerned of, and actually I'll be showing you only one folder because we downloaded SBSAR, which is a basic material, are materials. And if you have a smart material, you have a smart material folder. And this is where you place those files that you downloaded. Now, uh, I currently have SBSAR, which is a regular material. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and place it into the materials folder. In here, I already have created subfolders, which you can do, you can create subfolders to organize your content. But what you will actually see for the first time, let me open up the smart materials folder. You will see nothing but a single text file, which will tell you this is where you place a specific material type or a specific file type into this folder. So this is what you will see. Now, in my case, I already have a bunch of materials that I imported and I organized them into subfolders, which is completely fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that file that we downloaded into here. Once you do, it will appear inside Substance Painter. So let's go ahead and see. So I'm gonna click over to regular materials and let's search for tile. And here it is, Dirty City Marble Tiles. And just cl left click and drag right onto your mesh to display it. Each material will come with its own set of parameters for you to adjust. Some of these properties will differ depending on what you downloaded and what is available to you, but you just simply select the layer and go to properties and just go through the parameters. Oftentimes you can choose color, roughness, and a few others depending on the material that you use. So that's the first way for you to use the downloaded files inside Substance Painter. For the second way, I'm gonna show you how to import files right into your library section. And you'll have a few more options for you to choose how you want to import. So very quickly, I'm gonna jump over to the marketplace. I'm gonna to go to free assets and I'm just gonna quickly look for something to download again. So that way we have a whole new file to use. Whenever you're looking and browsing through different uh, materials and different assets, if you see licensed, means you already downloaded it once. You may not have access to that file again, you might have deleted it or maybe it's on another hard drive, but that means you already have it in your possession somewhere you've downloaded it before. And in my case, I'm, I don't have this marble yet. So I like it, I wanna use it. So I'm gonna quickly download it. So here it is. However, I don't want to copy and paste it into that folder again, since you already know how to do this. So inside Substance Painter, if you go to file, we can import different file types. So go to file, go to import resources, and then add resources. And then just simply navigate into the folder where you downloaded the file. In my case, this is what we're going to import. I'm going to choose that file, click open. It's going to define the name and it's going to give me what this file is, base material. Sometimes you will see undefined and you may need to choose base material as an option. So if you ever see undefined, just use the drop down menu and choose base material or whatever file type you are using to define. Sometimes there will be a texture, but since we're just dealing with materials, you'll set it to a base material. And then right here in the bottom, you get to choose import your resources to use the drop down menu and choose one of these options. So current session will only keep this file as long as you have Substance Painter open. Once Substance Painter shuts down, it's removed from memory and no longer usable. So when, next time you launch Substance Painter, this material will not be available for you to use. This is really good if you just wanna use it once and never use it again, and you don't want to populate your library section. You can also import it into your project. So at the moment, my project, I haven't saved this project. I used a preset called Unreal Engine 4. So it just gives me a name for Unreal Engine 4, which is the template preset. If you saved your project, you will see project name of whatever your file name is that you saved. So this option will import that file into that project. It will only be usable next time you open that project and you will see it inside the library section, that material. But if you start a whole new project, that file type will not be available to you. So it, it will only keep it for you to use and reuse within a given project. And then you can choose to import it into your library assets, which will always be available to you every time you launch Substance Painter. So out of these three options, you can choose how you want to import this resource, this material. 
So in this case, I don't want to import it and always keep it. I'm just going to choose current session. So next time I shut down, it will be gone. But it'll give me access to this material at the time I have Substance Painter open. So I'm going to choose current session and click import. And then I just simply choose to search. So I'm actually going to clear the base material. Just go back to materials and I can search for marble. And then we'll display it. And I can just left click and drag and take a look at it and modify the properties. Now, if you've imported a bunch of files, custom files for your current session or things that you've been using that you downloaded and you want to just only get access to the files specifically that you downloaded. There's an option right here at the very top. Let me go ahead and clear this. Right under all library, you have a little arrow. If you left click on it, you get to see all the assets inside your library. You can then do it only for, for the project, which we did not import anything to this project, so you won't see anything. And then you can choose to session. So we only imported one material into our current session, which is the one you just saw. That's why there's only one being displayed. But if I repeat the steps and I import it into a project, a bunch of materials, or into my current session, you'll have a lot more options here, a lot more materials to choose from. Let me go ahead and go back to all the assets in our library. Let me quickly show you if I import a bunch of materials, some of those properties will be undefined and how to set them really quick. So I'm going to go to File, Import Resources add resources. And here I have a bunch of materials that I downloaded that I was experimenting with. So I'm, I'm just going to choose them all. And uh, I know a bunch of them come up as undefined. So I'm going to open them. And right here you get to see that, uh, let me see, uh, some of these right here are undefined. So Substance Painter cannot decide what this is. So you just need to give a little bit of help. So left click and choose what this file type, this resource is. And it's a base material. And do this for everything that doesn't have a resource defined. And then again, choose import your resources too. And in this case, I'm going to choose current session. Now, really quick also, the benefit of using current session, this way your library doesn't get populated with a bunch of materials every single time you launch Substance. This way you just use the materials you downloaded only for a given session, for a given asset. And then once you use it, that material will still be available to you to use inside the layers palette. It doesn't go away. It's just for you to redrag that material from the library onto your asset disappears. So it's just like a one-time usage, but it will be available for you to continue tweaking and using if you save the project inside the layers. So I'm going to choose current session and import. And the third, very last option I already mentioned. So when you go to marketplace, Let's go to free assets. If you just uh, hover over any asset that you want and instead of downloading to your computer to keep it and then place it manually or import it, you can just send it and this will send it into that folder automatically and then make it available right inside Substance Painter for you to use every time you launch Substance Painter. So we'll actually place that file just like the first option with a single click. So now you have three different ways you can import downloaded materials and use them inside Substance Painter.